Kanye reveals dirty truth about Obama. Trump did one thing he refused to do by Adam Casolino, Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. Rapper Kanye West revealed in a recent interview a dirty truth about former President Barack Obama. What shocked listeners even more was what he said about President Donald Trump, who did one thing that Obama never did. Kanye West has been in the news lately. The mega-selling rapper has a reputation for saying and doing things that surprise everyone. He has dominated pop music and hip-hop for many years, garnering a following that reaches across the world. He's also proud, unpredictable, and more than a little controversial. While his fans rally around his music and work, the media have a hard time putting him in a box. As an influential and successful African-American, they naturally assumed he would be an outspoken liberal. Recent history has proven otherwise. Soon after the election of Donald Trump to the White House, Kanye voiced his support. The rabid liberal media were horrified to learn that this popular rapper was friends with the business mogul turned president. Not that long ago, Kanye tweeted out his support for conservative African-American activist Candace Owens. It only gets better from there. In a recent interview, he dropped a bombshell of information. The rapper spoke about the cold reception he received from former President Barack Obama, but when he wanted some face time with Donald Trump, he rolled out the red carpet for Kanye. Naturally, liberals can't handle it. The interview with Hot 97 host Ebru Dar uh, Darden uh, came after West expressed his unexpected support for conservative activists and Black Lives Matter uh, critic Candace Owens on Twitter. He also expressed love for Trump, Darden said, explaining that he had reached out to Obama for years and couldn't get anything done, but Trump gave me a meeting. Obama famously called West a jackass during a taping of an interview and reportedly doubled down on that uh, epithet later. Um, West said, I do love Donald Trump, Darden said, source Fox News. The liberal media are going to have a very hard time spinning that quote. Either they will try to ignore this news, which they can't, or they will attack Kanye, which they are. The massive influence Kanye West has over hip-hop music and his fans is impossible to ignore. The only re, uh, recourse the left has is to attack him, calling his credibility and sanity into question. Even still, they can't erase what he said about their cherished Obama. Kanye West's success contradicts years of democratic programming. They still want black Americans to think that they, they can't achieve prosperity on their own. Liberals have manipulated an entire population just for votes. Obama was the worst. He made black people believe they could uh, only succeed if he did. Yet after eight years, nothing got better for African Americans. In fact, many things got worse. I'm sure many liberals will be surprised that Obama refused to communicate with West. You'd think the first black president would have been eager to connect with a popular rapper, get his support and work with him, but it's clear that West's point of view and goals would have contradicted what Obama wanted to do to America. West frequently talks about helping the black community, but he was blacklisted from the Obama White House. That's pretty telling, because Obama wasn't black. Yet, while Trump was uh, still president-elect, he welcomed Kanye to Trump Tower to talk. President Trump has spoken time and again about helping the African-American community. But unlike liberals, he wants to empower black people, not make them more dependent on the government. While some black Americans see that so many still are controlled by the Democrats. Kanye West's outspoken support for Donald Trump, though cannot be ignored, he's poised to open the eyes of millions of young Americans. 
they will begin to realize that Obama's party is not the answer. Liberal politics will only keep them weak, poor, and persecuted. The rapper reportedly told uh, Darden his goal was to deprogram people according to Vulture. Fox News' Greg Gutfeld uh, said West's comments are significant, not because he endorsed any conservative views, but because he demonstrated a tolerance for hearing them. He challenged the mob, Gutfeld, uh, Gutfeld said. Their goal is to stigmatize. Smears always shut down debate. There's nothing scarier to a leftist than a free thinker, source Fox News. Kanye West's statements have blasted a hole in the left system of controlling black people. The backlash he and others have received prove uh, liberals don't want black people thinking for themselves. Democrats demand that all African Americans think and vote their way. Anyone that deviates from their control is treated like an enemy, but the tide is turning. Soon uh, the Democrats won't be able to control black Americans the way they used to. I mean, really, uh, it, it, people are waking up. But I'll tell you one thing, the conservative channels uh, and uh, websites, uh, they are being uh, uh, targeted because they don't want this info out at all. They want their narrative, and a lot of big money is behind the liberal narrative. It really is the case. And it's kind of frightening at the same time because, you know, I, I, I never really knew that this existed in America because I was never involved in politics and, and whatnot. And it's kind of like, whoa, where have I been all these years, you know? Uh, but the uh, SHTF has started hitting the fan big time uh, over the past uh, couple of years, uh, and, uh, you know, you get rudely awakened somehow. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.